Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashini Agarwal and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my January 2022 bullet journal setup and I'm super excited for you guys to see because the theme I chose is a galaxy with abstract shapes and the color scheme I went for is like purples, blues, grays, black, gold, and white and I kept it basic with the galaxy theme but I'm really happy with how it turned out so I hope you guys like it too. So let's just get right on into the video. So as I said, the theme that I chose for January is galaxy that is like abstract. And the color scheme I used is some purples and then some blues and then gray and black. And then I also ended up using a gold at the end. So these are my first two spreads. And as always on the right side is my cover page and on the left side is my quote page. And I just have January written in the center with all the abstract shapes around it. And there's some moons, some planets, some stars, some random lines and dots. And then I also have my quote page. And on the quote page, the constellation is the Aquarius constellation. And the quote says, my mind has too many tabs open. Next is my monthly calendar and I have January written on the top and then I have my normal calendar layout and I just have 1 through 31 with the days of the week at the top of the calendar and then all around it I just have the abstract shapes with the lines and dots and random abstract shapes around it. For all of January spreads I used the Crayola Super Tips and then a Micron and then for the gray, I ended up using the Zebra Mal Liners. And I think those colors just tie the whole spread in together because all of them have to do with Galaxy and all the spreads are unique. And as we move right along, when we flip to the next page, I have my habit tracker on the left side and my brain dump on the right side. So for both of the spreads, I have the abstract shapes drawn along the bottom. And then I have for the brain dump side, I have it drawn along the top. And for the headers, I have both of them written in the same font. And then you'll see on the next tracker, I also have the same font just to keep it all the same. And I just have the same colors that I've been using. And then I have six habits that I'm going to track this month. And that is it for my habit tracker. And then for my brain dump, I just have all that space left for me to put my thoughts down throughout the month. And then when we flip to the next page, you're gonna see my two next pages. And that's my study tracker on the left side and then a quote page on the right side. And for my study tracker, I just have the days of the month going down. And then across I have the hours and I just draw it in a bar graph layout. And then I have some trackers for my studying that I keep track of. And then I have the abstract shapes drawn along the bottom right of the left side of the page and then for the quote page I have all the abstract shapes drawn around the entire page and then I have the quote in the center. The quote I ended up using for the right side of the page which is another quote page is small opportunities are often the beginning of great achievements and that is my quote page and then when you flip to the next page I have one of my weekly spreads and this is just for the 1st through the 8th of January. And I have small boxes drawn along the top and the bottom and then both of the sides. And then I just have a few abstract shapes drawn in the middle of the page. And that is it for my spreads, but I ended up using a gold marker to add a few sparkles around the pages. So I'm just doing a flip through to show you guys that and this is the finished product of all of my spreads for January 2022. And that is it for today's video. If you guys like the theme I chose in my bullet journal so far for the year, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and like this video. And make sure you stay tuned for upcoming videos on bullet journaling. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!